Hello, welcome to the Citrus Garden. If you're new here, my name is Christina. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. It's great to see you. This is a reading for Libra Rising, or if you have significant Libra placements in your chart and are needing a neutral energy to help harmonize masculine and feminine energies within yourself, then this reading is for you. So Libra, let's get started here with the bottom of the deck energy. You have here Arvel the Parrot, which has been coming up so much recently. Um, and it's been talking about like communication, like different forms of communication, especially like with spirit or with the universe or how, whatever label you'd like to put on that. Perhaps also in this case, in this reading, from a particular person who has passed is kind of how it's coming through. Like so somebody, perhaps a family member, um, or an ancestor or a guide of some sort who is trying to communicate with you um, spiritually in order to move towards something is kind of how it's coming through. And underneath that, you have here the um, opponent's wild daughter, which talks about nightmares and things that we are afraid of. Um, and underneath that, you have here the Mick, the Myomancer, and Mickle of Muckle. I just pulled these cards because the name Mick here is coming up twice. It's spelled differently, but it could be because it because you do have the the father coming out in the cards here. So this could be like a father figure, just because the way that it's coming out looks like that, like father or grandfather even perhaps. Um, for some of you, that might be the individual or just an older gentleman in general. Um, so that's the overall context for the fairies and you have the gem <laughs> you have the gem at the bottom of this deck so i feel like so and it came out upright like this as well so i feel like this is you libra where it's kind of like you have some sort of gem whatever that is um some sort of thing of value is how it's coming through some sort of thing of value, which I feel like is um, needed by somebody is kind of how it's coming through. Like whatever this thing of value is, I feel like it, it's not necessarily um, a physical object, but it could be. It just kind of feels like whatever it is, you have some sort of gift perhaps or like something to give is kind of how it's coming through. So the first two cards in the spread are the unseen and the father. So this is why it's coming through today as being um, like a family member who has passed, specifically a father figure of some sort. And it was, it was kind of coming through as being sort of like, cause I was really drawn to this side where it's like, they're not present in your life at the moment or it's like the it's almost like um an absence is kind of how it's coming through or a withdrawing um because the next card out you have it here is the cave right it's almost like it's almost like there's been it's some sort of withdrawing of some some kind of energy here and it's almost like this this because this father card talks about like how generally the archetype of the father is one who sort of protects and guards and is there to like maintain structure and all of that but at the same time the the other aspect of the father is the one who um is absent or who disappears or who disappoints or something like that so there it's interesting here like that kind of thing and the cave right it's kind of the cave talks about a withdrawing or going inward but what was coming through with this kind of energy the unseen and the father was um that scene in the lion king where where simba's trying to make like this important decision right and then rafiki like brings him to the pond and he sees his father, right? He sees his father who who reminds him, like, remember who you are. I feel like that's part of the message, like the message or the communication that you might be receiving from this energy is like trying to remind you of who you are or remind you of 
this gem energy or of your power or something like that, right? Like it's coming through as identity, like some important aspect of your identity, perhaps. Um, Cause I'm, I was also getting <laughs> before the reading, like the song shine bright, like a diamond by Rihanna. So I don't know if it's, it's like, I don't know, something like that. There's something about like you shining or your power or your identity that you're being reminded of because I feel like, I feel like at this point, you're starting off here with the Lelm, which talks about like, um, the energy of unconditional giving, because I feel like there's something here about like, there's something that you are being asked to give more to is kind of how it's coming through. Um, give more to because you have here, you have here the dolphin underneath it. This is absolutely your energy today, Libra, which is kind of like a blessing. It's, it's a, ble it's a blessing. I feel like your, your energy has like some sort of ability to give a blessing to somebody else is kind of how it's coming through to give some, some sort of blessing to somebody else. Right. But it's kind of like here with the, the Fox coming out next, which is really interesting. Cause I normally don't see this, this Fox like this, but it was, um, coming through as being sort of like, uh, being unsure of your identity. That's what was coming through here. Or like underestimating your ability or underestimating your identity or your, the fact that you are a, you can be or have the potential to be a blessing to somebody is kind of how it's coming through here for you, Libra, where it's like there, I, I was being reminded of the story Fantastic Mr. Fox. I don't know what that story is about offhand, but it's kind of, it feels like maybe there's a message in there for you. It feels kind of, so both of these energies are super playful. It could be something like that, but what's, or like the ability to bring a smile, right? Like that kind of thing. Or just like a very positive, happy energy that I'm seeing here for you, Libra. Um, and the next card you have out is the list of the shadows, which today is looking to me like sort of like, I feel like you're here sort of in the Laum energy, which is more of like a, a watching and waiting kind of energy into the list of the shadows, which is active, right? And I feel like this might be part of the discomfort, especially with the cave. It kind of talks to, so I actually don't feel like it's a withdrawing. I feel like it's like going into a place that makes you uncomfortable. It's kind of, this is coming through, especially with this or like going out into some environment that perhaps has discomfort within it. Because this one talks about like um, somebody who helps those who are in need. And especially because it's coming out with these cards, the Nine of Swords and the Fire Ant, where it's like you're going into this space. That's sort of where this energy is like asking you to go, is to like go into this place. With the Nine of Swords, it, it could be that it causes anxiety or something like that. And with the Fire Ant especially, there is something here about like breaking patterns. So especially with this father energy, it could be something like, especially if this father figure, when you, when you, when they were alive, they might have had certain patterns or perhaps even like addictions where it's like, you're now being asked to almost like go into the place or like go, help those who have those same patterns same addictions is kind of how it's coming through like this this individual it feels like a significant person in your life had some sort of like addiction or uh whatever it is right like some sort of like pattern <laughs> that was um 
that caused hardship in some way for themselves and perhaps for others as well obviously for others as well so it's kind of like it's almost like the place that you're going or like being asked to give a bit of your blessing energy to is I don't want to use that word because now it's coming through kind of weird but <laughs> I feel like it's more just like bring a little bit of like sunshine into this person or this could be a person but it, into this environment where it's really uncomfortable because with this nine of swords which is interesting it talks to me about like something that we don't want to look at because it's uncomfortable right <laughs> and today I actually was seeing this tusk here for the first time because normally I just get distracted by the eyeballs and I don't look at the rest of the card but today is the tusk there's a there's a broken tusk here and it was reminding me of the elephant card in this in this uh, in the Oracle deck where the elephant which talks about sort of breaking obstacles um, destroying obstacles that elephant has a missing tusk so it's kind of like there, it's like something that perhaps you are missing or um, so, some sort of like putting the puzzle pieces together is kind of how it's coming through or like receiving some sort of like key missing information perhaps is perhaps surrounding this person or this pattern or whatever some sort of like missing piece of information is here in this dis like uncomfortable energy is kind of how it's feeling so it's kind of like you're being asked to go into this place of discomfort perhaps having to do with your identity right like some aspect of your identity especially if this is some a relative right like it's kind of like um going into this uncomfortable energy whatever this represents to you actually brings back to you some sort of aspect of your identity but it's like covered up with like a bunch of uncomfortable <laughs> uncomfortable energies around it like the environment itself is perhaps uncomfortable anyways what you have next here so the cave as i said again um where it's I feel, this always feels kind of like um, a call, like like a, a beckoning, like that there's an energy that's calling you towards it. And what what you have here next is this is this energy, the singer of Transfiguration and the world, which I love so much because this is talking about that completion energy, right? Completing some some cycle. Um, this wholeness kind of energy and with the singer of transfiguration this card was coming through as being sort of like a jackpot like finding some sort of jackpot or success kind of aha moment perhaps or just like understanding something or it's like it's it's like a gift it's a gift for you is kind of how it's feeling like like receiving some sort of like very clear understanding about some sort of pattern perhaps or like something that you were missing or some aspect of your identity that you needed to remember maybe um okay and then what's what's coming out next here which is really interesting so you have here the master maker which talks about like mastering some sort of skill i feel it so it's mastering some sort of skill um whatever that is for you i feel like it also talks so it's also talking to me about like whatever it is that you're doing here in this place it's like making sure that you're putting a hundred percent of your effort into it um, because it's, it's something like there's no, it was coming through this energy of like, there's no, um, job or task that's too small is kind of how it's coming through. Like even something that feels really small, you should sp still put all of your effort into it. Like that's kind of the energy that's coming through in order to, because 
because you're masterful at this craft or whatever it is that you're doing, um, it, it feels a lot like emotional, like, like, um, an emotional sort of work. Like you could be some sort of healer as well here with the dolphin, like, or have some ability, like that's, some ability to lift people's spirits is kind of how it's coming through here. Um, and it's kind of like, even if it's something small, it's still exactly what is needed is, is what's coming through because I feel like there's somebody else here um, in this place that you're being asked to go to where they're really struggling is what I'm seeing here. The, so I'm seeing this as being the other person's energy um, it's because it's coming out in reverse. So I'm not necessarily seeing this as being sort of like a reverse of this energy. I just feel like it's their energy. It's somebody else's energy where it's kind of, so it's coming out with the fault line and the Eros card. So this is the passion card because it's coming out in reverse. I, it was coming through with this energy of like this person, um, has lost all sort of, or like, I don't want to say it that dramatically, but they, they have, um, perhaps forgotten or just like are not in a place where they can see or they have any sort of like pleasure or happiness, right? Like there's no, they don't find pleasure in anything is kind of how it's coming through here. And with the fault line too, it's kind of like there's something here about like, um, it's, com it's coming through with like barely keeping it together is what this is feeling to me like. That's what I heard. It also is kind of coming through as being sort of like a, um, on thin ice, right? I was, I was getting, anyways, I, I'm not going to go into that, um, but it's like the, this is the significant connection that you're being asked to sort of go towards, um, cause it's, and it, it, it is, for you, it might be sort of like this uncomfortable energy because it's kind of like some sort of obstacle about it. There's some sort of like obstacle into in going this way. Um, but it's like their energy is coming through here with the singer of connection and the faff the footer, which is interesting. Uh, the singer of connection, of course, is this significant um, connection. I don't know if this is actually like so how this individual is coming through, this might be somebody that is somehow connected to this father energy. So it's kind of, so it could be like another relative, right? Like they also relate, were related to whoever this represents to you in some way. It might not be, but it's kind of like, um, perhaps whatever it is that affected this father energy is also affecting this one in some way. Um, and it's kind of coming through as being like, there's something shared between these two as well with the singer of connection. I feel like this one here, cause this one talks about grounding or needing to ground their energy because it's kind of, what I'm seeing here. Cause this one was coming through as being like, on ice, right? It's kind of like they're, they're slipping on the ice. I've been getting this energy of skating a lot as well. Like, um, specifically the feeling of like, you know, if you, if you've, if you know how to skate, right? The, the, the act of skating is a lot different than walking. Um, and so if you skate for a long time, like for at least an hour, I would say, if you skate for at least an hour, or longer and then you take off your skates and you put your shoes back on there's kind of like a weird sensation of like switching um like it just feels weird on your feet 
that is specifically for for me anyway. I don't know if that if that has any significance to anyone, but it's kind of like there's there's somebody here who is like perhaps needing to get off their skates a little bit is kind of how it's coming. It's like it feels like that they've been skating for like they've been stuck out on this frozen pond for ever is what it's coming through. Like for a very long time, they've been on this sort of like shaky ice for a really long time and it's kind of like perhaps the assistance that you would give them is just like bringing them back onto land right like put getting their feet back on like stable dry land like not on a frozen pond not with skates on like it's that kind of like bringing them back to land in some way um i i feel like there's there's something here about like so there's a lot of cards out. I feel I feel like this this person, whoever they are, so they're coming out with this energy, the five of cups and the six of swords, where I actually feel like they're um, making the best of their situation, whatever it is. They're making the best of the situation, but with the five of cups, this one talks about disappointment. <laughs> Again, disappointment. It's like there's something here about like... Um, dealing with some sort of disappointment because you have here these two cards or if it's not disappointment it's like this this kind of comes through with an energy of like with the five of cups like perhaps perhaps a depression but I don't want to necessarily like use that that severe of a word perhaps it's just like low energy or low mood or whatever whatever that is but they, they do have the Six of Swords. They are making the best of their situation. Um, you have here the Hyena and the Mouse. Because the Mouse talks about like being very focused on particular details or a particular task as well. And with the Hyena, because it's coming through with more of this energy of like the Lion King, like... There's an energy around this person, perhaps, with the hyena, or it could just be, like, part of their coping mechanism, where it's, like, they're, um... Because they're in an environment that's not, uh, hospitable, or that they're on this sort of, like, frozen lake. Um, they're having to almost, like, have two personalities. Is kind of what comes through with the hyena. It's like they can't, they can't fully be who they are, where they are. And so it's kind of like they're really needing dry land. Is kind of how it's coming through. Like, somewhere to land. Somewhere to ground. Somewhere to, like, release whatever this hyena energy is. And I feel like for you, Libra, because you're coming through with all of this energy, um, the crow, the dragon, and the zebra, I feel like it's going to take a bit of creativity, is how this is coming through. Um, because both of these, both like the crow and the zebra we're talking about, creativity and um a visionary energy here with the zebra like using some sort of creative uh i just heard storytelling but i don't know if that's like relevant to you some sort of creative solution to solve this problem and i feel like here with the dragon it's, ta it's talking about having to use like a lot of, like a significant amount, maybe not a significant, but having to use a lot of your power and your masterful ability to create or to do what you do, whatever that is, in order to help this one. Um, so I'm actually going to leave it there. If that reading resonated with you, please like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below. It helps so much. Thank you for sharing your energy with me, and I hope you have a great night. Bye.